Hey, what's up, Aviation fans? Dave here. If you have been watching the channel lately, first of all, you've noticed I've been posting a lot, and I'm going to try to keep doing that. 383 Julia Tango is gone. It's kind of hard to deal with, but I'm, I, I am slowly getting over it a day at a time. So while I was sitting here in the office getting ready to cut some, some film for uh, Alaska Day 3, which is kind of our little, you know, side trip here, as we prepare for the trip to Santa Ana to go get the new plane, uh, November 731 Julia Hotel. Uh, I just wanted to take this moment and say thank you for each and every one of you that has subscribed and liked this channel. Because today, I reached a huge point for me anyway, and that is that we have just exceeded 500 subscribers. Now that may not seem like a lot to some of those, you know, big channels out there, but for me, it's a big deal because you know, I wasn't sure that 50 people wanted to see my my plane and, and learning the Cirrus and you know, kind of the whole experience kind of thing. So that's why I pledge to you to keep the content awesome, to keep it exciting, and um, you know, to keep posting on a regular basis because that's what I like to see. I like to go back to my favorite YouTube channels and see what's going on next. So thank you very much for all of you who have subscribed. I appreciate it. It is very much appreciated. And um, just stay tuned because there's really more stuff coming and it's gonna be greater, cooler. It's gonna be more fun. Um, you know, I mean, you know, Vernon and I have had quite a bit of fun so far, but it's gonna be uh, more exciting as I get to know this brand new Cirrus. And for those of you maybe who aren't familiar with the G6, uh, like me, <laughs> um, we'll get familiar together. So thanks for watching. Enjoy day three of Alaska. And I'll keep posting if you keep subscribing. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. How's the crew so far, girls? Hey, okay. Look at this. Oh, God. We could not have ordered up better weather. It's friggin' beautiful out here today. Yeah. Okay, so Skagway, it's about, I don't know, it's probably what, 50 degrees? 48? 50? I guess we're 40. In the shade. Beautiful day. We got the, uh, our ship right back there in the background. Got another celebrity cruise ship we're coming up on here. I think uh, I think we take the size prize on this one. Encore is a big, big gal. There she is right there. And there's our party walking briskly toward the end of the dock. Uh, we know where we're at. We're right here at these signs, and um, but we're gonna go into town and see if we can uh, see if we we'll see if we can wrestle up. See if they'll throw us in a mask jail for not wearing masks. Here is the uh, evidently famous rock wall with all the ships painted on it. Isn't that cool? Oh my God. No, That's a salmon. See the, the swift nose thing? Mm -hmm. 
They're 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 traveling upstream. Okay, downtown Skagway. This is exactly what you would expect Alaska to look like. There's Double D in Skagway. Face mask down to his chin. This whole place has been restored back in the uh, 90s, and they're still doing it, making it look like it looked during the gold rush. This is exactly what you would expect from Alaska right here. That's people jumping up and down behind you. Look at that. I'm telling you, we absolutely hit the weather lottery. It is perfect. It's kind of a neat looking building here. The uh, whole thing is covered in twigs and sticks. Stuff. See here. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. It's kind of a neat, neat, uh, neat place here. How neat is that? Skagway. So we're looking straight down Broadway North in Skagway. I imagine that would be the way they started going toward the White Pass Trail. This is known as the sort of the starting point for the gold rush. And this whole gold rush town has been recreated. A lot of these buildings have been rebuilt. Walking into the Klondike Doughboy for beaver tails, elephant ears. What's the difference? <laughs> Nothing, where you're at. <laughs> Sorry. You can just 
just catch a glimpse of them there. Right at the corner.